Welcome to Immigration Station TV, your go-to channel for all things related to immigration. Whether you're looking to move to a new country, hire foreign workers, or navigate the complexities of immigration law, we're here to help you every step of the way. At Immigration Station TV, we provide a wide range of resources and information to help you achieve your immigration goals. Our team at Immigration Station TV is dedicated to helping you navigate the complex world of immigration, and we cover everything from visa applications and legal requirements to cultural differences and settlement services. We know that immigration can be a daunting process, which is why we're here to make it as easy and stress-free as possible. We pride ourselves on providing accurate, up-to-date information that you can trust. So, if you're looking for reliable information and advice on all things related to immigration, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Hello and welcome to Immigration Station TV. If you're thinking about living and working in Canada, you're in the right place. In this video, we will discuss the different Canadian work permit and immigration programs available, how much they cost, and what steps you need to take before starting your job and finally immigrating to Canada. Canada has an unemployment rate of 7.8%, and the labor market has been gradually rising in recent years. According to Statistics Canada, around 19.6 million people are working in Canada as of November 2022. Immigration creates more jobs for foreign skilled workers and Canadians by supplying companies with more prospective workers, reducing the need for companies to recruit illegal immigrants. If you're interested in working in Canada, there are several methods available to you. Let's take a closer look at your options. First up, we have the International Mobility Program, which allows Canadian employers to hire foreign nationals without the need for a positive labor market impact assessment. If you're a highly skilled worker or a researcher, you may want to check out the Global Skills Strategy Program. This program allows you to obtain your work permit in as early as two weeks. The Global Talent Stream is the fastest immigration pathway available for eligible workers looking for a new start in Canada. If you're looking to get your Canadian work permit processed in 10 days, this may be the option for you. If you're young and curious about the world, Canada offers a fantastic visa scheme that allows you to tour the nation while still earning money. The International Experience Canada program is perfect for you. For international students in Canada who have completed their studies in a qualified Canadian Designated Learning Institution DLI, you can obtain an open work permit through the post-graduation work permit. Working in Canada offers many benefits, including a lower cost of living than in most Western countries due to free public health care and education assistance. Additionally, non-Canadians don't have to pay taxes on any money they earn while working in Canada. The open borders and the country's treatment of people from other countries make it easy to move to Canada. The average full-time worker in Canada makes $1,050.59 per week, or $54,000 per year. However, this can vary depending on your job and skill level, with some positions paying as much as $150,000 per year. In Toronto, for example, the average hourly wage for a computer programmer is $38.46, with the lowest wage at $22.78 and the highest at $57.69. Finally, Canada has a lot to offer people looking for work, from beautiful natural landscapes and different cultures to excellent healthcare. We hope this video answered some of your questions about what kinds of jobs you can get in Canada and how much you can expect to make. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Immigration Station TV. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel and then hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.